Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs and hauls. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. Hey <laughs> doll. In today's video I have another round of fall DIYs for you I love how these all turned out and I absolutely love the color scheme like I said in my last fall video I don't really have a fall color scheme that I'm particularly going for I'm just kind of trying everything seeing what sticks and I really love this color combination I hope you guys do enjoy this video also this video is sponsored by every plate and I absolutely love their products and the ease it takes to make these meals. More on that in a bit, but for now, let's go ahead and jump into the DIYs. Starting off with this really pretty Sola flowers sign, that's what I'm calling it because it has a bunch on them. From Dollar Tree, I have three of these new signs that say family, hello, and gather. And what I do is take a flat tool from Dollar Tree and just pull up that um, top uh, word piece. It's like a shadow box sign. I then remove the border like sticks around it and then pull up the paper. The paper comes up really easily, but the border was kind of stapled down into this. So I had to cut down the sides of each of these uh, pieces now that are going to be my sign. And I just used a ruler and a utility knife and just uh, scored that until it was down. Now, one of them did break while I was doing this because it is just MDF board. So what I did is just took another Dollar Tree sign and then just measured it and then cut that down to size which is why you see it's a little bit of a different color and um, it's a little bit thicker but hey uh, the next thing I did is took my Waverly chalk paint and moss and gave each of these three signs um, two coats of this color really love this color for fall I think it's so so pretty and it just really pops when it dries then I went to my Cricut and uh, print it. <laughs> I cut out the phrase home sweet home. I will have the um, font in my description box below because I use two different fonts for this. The sweet word is um, a different font. And um, yeah, I really love the way that this turned out. But all I did is just um, up adhered it with my um, Cricut transfer tape. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable using my transfer tape. I always have so many issues with it. I've also started using some different vinyl that's not from Cricut. I've really just been trying to experiment and see um, some other affordable options that are out there for anybody that has like a Joy or a Maker or Explore Air 2 or whatever. But I've really been liking this Oracle vinyl and I am going to start trying out some other brands and stuff for vinyl too to see what I like. I have yet to find the Dollar Tree vinyl. So yeah, <laughs> if you see it and think of me, send it my way. <laughs> Um, so after I placed down my words, then I just took a sanding paper and I just sanded down all of the edges on each of these signs. I then took two of the border pieces from one of the signs and I am just going to kind of just eyeball measure it out to hot glue them onto the edges. So I'm doing them with the brown like color side um, to the front um, and I just hot glued the first one in the middle. Then I hot glued the two home plaques on the top and the bottom. And like I said, I didn't really measure this out. I just kind of eyeballed it. You can't really tell if one, you know, rod side is longer than the other because it all looks even when you glue the signs down. Um, once I'm done with that, then I am taking two of these um, one gallon paint stir sticks and hot gluing them together. And this is going to be my vehicle for where my um, solo wood flowers are going to be. I painted that white just to just in case it, it shows through it has some kind of cohesion with this entire sign and I chose the colors for uh, the color scheme that I'm going for in this video which is like a burnt orange color like a teal kind of color blue and orange all that you know just 
I, I really love this these this color combination and then I just arrange my flowers on here the way that I see fit or like I always say until my eyes are happy <laughs> and I just use a generous amount of hot glue to attach all of them and I even just glue some of them to each other I also added some of the white solo flowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree and they're really nice they're a little bit softer than the solo wood flowers um, that I I got and I do have a coupon code for you down in my description box if you want to go ahead and look at solo with flowers and see about purchasing some of their products they're really nice uh, next I am going to hot glue these two pieces together so my sign and then my flower paint stick thing <laughs> so um, the way that I did this is I took some nautical rope um, I knotted it at the ends cut that down to size and then I hot glued it to the back of that paint stir stick so that it would stay and that my um, flowers would be at the top I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this I probably could have like stapled it together but because the I don't know it just it, it didn't it, it didn't seem like it would stay that way. And I did not want the staples that I had to go through that MDF board that I had my home sign. So I just used a generous amount of hot glue and some pieces of craft sticks and just gave it a little extra support. And that's it for this one. I think it's really, really pretty. And I love the colors. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? Now, as I stated, this video is sponsored by Every Plate. And they are considered America's best value meal kit. Absolutely love their items and the ease of getting it delivered right to my doorstep, getting everything prepackaged in this box and everything that I need. My favorite part actually is that all the ingredients come in this crate and then you have the meats at the bottom underneath this huge ice block i love that everything is so fresh and it's so easy because all i have to do is put the crate into the refrigerator and i am good to go until the next day where i need to cook the meal so with this box i was given three options to choose from I asked my husband what he wanted and he said tacos so that is what we're going with so what i also love is the step-by-step -step instructions for this meal it's super super easy only a few minutes of prepping 30 minutes of full cook time and we're good to go every plate's easy to follow recipes definitely take the stress out of dinner time and planning and cooking because they do all of the meal planning all of the shopping and all of the prepping all I really have to do is cut my ingredients and then cook the food. And the other awesome thing is everything is pre-measured. So I don't have to worry about buying more ingredients and more than I need for my little family. These meals are for sure cheaper. They will make my plates even full, our bellies full, and my bank account and wallet happier because each serving is only $4.99. That is cheaper or the same as one cup of coffee. <laughs> so when you sign up, you can choose your meals. They get delivered right to you on the day that you choose and you're good to go for the week. So if you know that this will be a great decision for you and your family, use my special code at checkout DIY with Amber 2 and you can get every plate for just $1.99 per meal and an additional 20% off of your next two boxes, just go to everyplate.com and enter my code DIY with Amber2. All right, dolls, let's go ahead and get back to the DIYs. So next up, we have this colorful Love Sweet Fall Garland. So from Amazon, I had these 20mm beads, wood beads. 
And then I actually picked up this little tag sign from Pop Shelf. It was just a dollar. And then I'm using a variety of different colors to match the color scheme in this video. So I'm using some Ziploc uh, like snack bags and I put in Admiral Blue acrylic color from Apple Barrel. And then I just kind of mushed that up, mushed it, <laughs> just kind of, you know, moved around the beads to get the color in there and then from folk art I'm using this moss green color and then um, from apple bear I have this harvest orange and then from folk art I have my honeycomb color and I mix those two up to get the desired burnt orange look I'm going for then I painted my tag sign using my ivory color chalk paint from Waverly and I just gave that one coat paint um, after everything is dry, this is how everything looks. Now, I really like how this looks. I didn't put a lot of paint in each bag because I was going for more of that like farmhouse rustic kind of look. I didn't want it, uh, the beads to be completely covered. I still wanted a little bit of the, you know, the wood color to show through. So I guess I wanted it a little bit more distressed than just, you know, having that uh, matte color, which I really, really like. So then next I took some jute twine and just started to fish all of my beads through. And I did orange, blue, green, and then two natural wood bead colors um, next, and then just continued on and so forth. At, at one point I did start to do one wood bead color and I just wanted to make sure I used all of the colored beads. So I think I did um, 12 of each color if that gives you a sense I wanted a really long really large uh, uh, garland um, so then I am making a tassel um, using that same jute twine and just wrapped it around my hand probably about 20 times and then tied it at the top with the piece of twine that's already hanging and then um, used another piece to tie off the top knot part and then wrap that around uh, so I could get my tassel look and then there's a few different ways you can do this you can hot glue it down or you can tie it down I usually like to just tie it down I don't really like using a lot of hot glue when I do um, tassels um, and then I just cut out the um, end um, to get my tassel look and cut it down so so it's even and yeah super super easy um, next, I'm taking that tag um, sign and then with my Cricut Joy, I cut out the phrase love sweet fall and then just applied that with my transfer tape and then I just fished through my um, twine through the hole and then tied that down. Um, like I said, I don't really like using hot glue, so I try not to use hot glue on any kind of beaded garland tassel or whatever because it starts to get real clunky and then when it dries, you can see like the white, you know, dried glue on it. So yeah, then I just cut that down and then I really wanted some uh, contrast of color on my tag. So I just used some um, simple black acrylic paint and just painted the outside rim of my tag and that's it for this one i really really love how this turned out so simple so easy yet so cute how come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like next we have this really pretty fun pumpkin patch sign so from dollar tree i have this farm fresh fall sign with the red truck and then last year they had this family friends and football thing i've i had it since last year and i just used it today well for this one <laughs> So the first thing I did is just remove the ribbon on the back and I'm just using three of those um, pumpkins. And then I just turned the sign over and remove the twine and the staples. And then of course me, I am going to use some um, brown craft paper to cover the front of the sign um, and then sand down where all of the staples were. Um, so I applied my um, craft paper this time with a glue stick. I usually use hot glue, um, but this time I just wanted to use a glue stick just to see how it would hold up. And it, it actually held hold up really, 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 really well. 
Um, the next thing I did is I took my ruler and a utility knife and gave myself some shiplap, faux shiplap line. So I'm just scoring the front of this sign. If you've been around for a while, you know I really love this technique. I really love doing this because it gives it, once you paint it, it gives it like a faux wood, you know, look to it. And I think it just brings it out, make it look really high end. But then at first I was actually going to paint this using my antique wax color, but I decided to go a different direction. So I used my linen white uh, chalk paint from Rustolian and gave my entire sign just one coat paint. After that dried, um, I actually went over it with my antique wax color. So you see that in a sec. But after I paint this, I set that aside to dry and then I move on to painting my pumpkins. So I'm using the same colors again. So the first pumpkin I use that moss green color and I don't paint the stems because I'm going to give that another color of that what I, I think I use burnt umber and then I just painted the second pumpkin using my admiral blue color that's from apple barrel and then I again mixed my harvest orange and my honeycomb uh, brown color and just mix that up to get my desired uh, orange color now make sure you use or you put enough on there so that you get the same color because I had to do two batches of this color and I was so nervous that I was not going to get the same shade but I did and it turned out great so here's what I'm talking about I use my burnt umber um, acrylic paint color to paint these stems or they're called stems right of <laughs> my pumpkins I think they are <laughs> Oh gosh, it's so early. <laughs> okay, so then moving on to my sign again, this is where I'm using my antique wax color. So I just kind of put it on there and then wiped it down with a rag and then just kept going back and forth with my white until I got the desired kind of wood grain look to it. Um, and then I just kind of set it aside because I was happy, but I wasn't sure. So I set it aside and now I'm working on my border. So these are the same border pieces that I had from the first DIY. And I just removed the staples on it and then painted it white off camera. Then back to my sign, I decided to give it a sanding look or I sanded it down and I really liked the look, but I still wanted it a little bit more white. So I went back in, painted over it with just a little bit more white. And this is what I wanted more because I wanted my um, pumpkins to kind of pop off of the back of the sign. And I felt the brown was maybe just a little bit too dark. So then after that was done, I then hot glued down my border pieces um, and I, I had to cut them down just a little bit, but I don't think I was pressing record on that, but yeah, just cut them down to fit. Um, but I really loved that I painted these white. I think it just brings it all together. So, so pretty. Then I, um, hot glued down my pumpkins and the sign is a little bit small for all of the pumpkins. So I kind of had to stack them up, but I really love the compact look that it has. And you can hot glue them down whichever way that you want. After that was done, I took a lot of these colors. Well, not a lot. It's only three colors. <laughs> From Dollar Tree, they have some colorful raffia. But for this one, I just used the natural brown color raffia and gave each of my pumpkins a bow. And all I did was just take a small bunch and, you know, I tried to kind of measure it out to see how long I wanted them and then I used some twine to just wrap it up in the middle um, to give it that bow look tied it down and then wrapped it around itself probably a good five or six times and then I just hot glued it um, in place and then hot glued it on top of the pumpkin super super easy um, and once that was done, I actually did a little bit thicker raffia bows because this first one that I did was kind of thin. And when I did the other ones, I'm like, okay, I need to change it. So, hey, that's what I did. Then you just kind of fan out the raffia and it looks so, so pretty. I really, really love it. Um, but I needed something else at the top because I hot glued my pumpkins to the bottom just a little much. I think I already knew that I was going to do this. <laughs> But as I was going, I was like, wait a minute, why did I glue these down so low? So I went to my Cricut and cut out pumpkin patch open daily and I applied that to the top and that's it. 
Love, love, love this. So, so pretty. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Next up, I'm making these cute mini wood pumpkins. So I had some scrap wood in my last DIY video and I cut it down to make, I made like a wood pumpkin and I had these pieces left over. So I really wanted to make them, uh, do something with them and I thought making a pumpkin out of them would be so, so cute. So I painted each of these using just some acrylic white um, paint and I gave each of them just one good coat. Then I have these wood stems from Dollar Tree. I just have a bunch in my stash. So I was able to pick out the tall, like skinny ones that I wanted. I kind of wanted like a shorter one because I didn't want to have to cut them. But I ended up having to cut them and I only had to cut two of them because when I cut them in half, I could use two for um, two pumpkins. And it was a little bit of work. And I'm like, I don't know, I have like, I'm really nervous about using this um shears because I cut my finger once so I'm just extremely careful so just be very careful but I got my desired lengths and then I made some more raffia bows using the colors that I did have the green red and the natural wood brown color so I'm going to use those to place those on top of my pumpkins after um I made those bows I did take a sanding paper and sand down these wood pieces because I wanted to give them a little bit more weathered farmhouse rustic look. So then I hot glued my wood stems on the top and then hot glued the raffia bow right in front of that. And then I actually have this beaded garland. I got this from Christmas last year and I'm really loving using them in these fall like pumpkin um, DIYs. So I just wrapped it around my pinky finger a few times to get that spiral look and then just hot glued it right behind my raffia bow for each of these pumpkins and just kind of played with it until I liked the position of it. And that's it. I really, really love how these turned out. They are so, so adorable. I definitely think they're really fun and a nice addition to like any of like your vignettes or table decor just to add it to, like, to your tray. I think it would be so cute and so fun to add it to that. Alright dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which one happens to be your favorite. Also, thanks so much for your love, support, and your kindness throughout my entire YouTube journey. I could not tell you how much I appreciate you guys so, so much. So with that, be blessed, stay safe, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm. Okay. So in today's video, <laughs> did I scare you? <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> what is it? What are you saying? What are you saying? Huh? You don't want to say bye? You just want to turn it off? Okay, turn it off. You gotta say bye. You can't just turn it off. You gotta say, you gotta say, you gotta say bye. bye.